This um, is PFF offensive line rankings. Um, this from the U Stadium tweeting this out. So Eagles uh, 1, Lions 2, Cowboys 3, Colts 4, and Browns 5. Um, yeah, I, I don't want to disagree, but I, it sure doesn't feel like that offensive line is performing that well. I got to get my eyes checked. I don't know. It's, I've watched a lot of football, and I've, I haven't seen all 32 teams, but I've seen enough to know they do not look like a top five unit to me. And bear in mind, they're paid like the top unit, you know, and it's and part of it, it's just an ever changing thing. You've got some moving pieces, but like it's it's devolved. It's if you'd asked me going into the season, I would have told you this is an elite run blocking team and an above average pass blocking team. Neither of those statements are true right now. I, I have faith in neither of those statements. And you're seeing individuals play well. dewan has been an excellent pass blocker. Joel's an excellent run blocker. But this isn't equaling the sum. This is not giving you the product that it should, giving especially how much these guys get paid. So this, this tweet will, will kind of put in perspective my thoughts on this. So this is uh, Brown's rushing yards be, gained before contact this year. Nick Chubb, 57 yards before contact. Deshaun Watson, 43. DTR, 17. Pierre Strong, 5. Harrison Bryant, 3. Remember, Harrison Bryant has done those quarterback sneaks. And Jerome Ford, 2. What I'm seeing by this is Nick Chubb is making that offensive line look much, 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 much more effective than they actually have been. Yeah, and it's what he, you know, we always focused on what he did after contact because that's, but the 57 yards before contact, that's showing you he knew where the running lanes would be. He understood the cutback opportunities that maybe these running backs don't. But when you're watching the All-22, I'm not seeing anything there. I'm seeing these running backs getting what's there, and there is nothing. You know, for me, the onus is on this offensive line to win at the point of attack and at least give these guys an opportunity to get three, three and a half yards, like two yards. That's That's crazy to me. You know, I, it's hard for me to believe that that is all lack of vision or pacing when you get the ball. It's To me, this just kind of illustrates how bad this offensive line has been at the point of attack in the run game. So the question becomes, how do you, how do you tweak it to make it work? Is it, are they running enough out of the gun? Is it, you know, are you trying to make Jerome Ford? Are you trying to, have you tweaked it enough for Jerome Ford, Kareem Hunt, and Pierre Strong? Because they're not Nick Chubb. <laughs> Yeah, well, and that's the thing. You're not getting Nick Chubb back. That that 5.2, is it's gone. So you need to find it in other ways. But that's the other point of this is maybe Stefanski's run game just been schemed up. Maybe that it's it's that predictable to where they, they have all the answers to the test before the play even happens, giving your line no opportunity, giving your running backs no opportunity. So I, I pray that they've used this bye week to come up with a couple different scheme variations to where you can free up some stuff. You know, I was very encouraged when I saw to Pierre Strong – off tackle you know I think that you could kind of lean on some of those concepts um, but this team is has been known for the wide zone and it hasn't been there now part of that's you know Dewan Jones isn't the athlete that Jack Conklin is in space so that takes away a lot of your opportunity to the right and we already know what's going on to the left you know so they, they do have to figure some stuff out I just hope they use this off week you know to their favor and is able to figure out a couple answers